Hey everybody, uh, welcome um, to Streaky Bay and contrary to all things landscape photography we're going out the hottest part of the day and uh, just gonna see what we can create this morning well, I should say uh, midday so that's what it is and I spotted this little um, well, it looks like it was a it was a couple of posts out here for mooring a, a, um, a boat and I thought it might make an interesting composition so you'll have to forgive my uh, attire and these uh, pasty legs of mine I thought we'd come out here and I'll try one or two um, long exposures see what we can we can create now straight away you may notice that I was pushing down the legs of my tripod um, that's so because we're in the water and I don't want the shifting uh, water to uh, uh, shift the tripod or move the light tripod so there is a little secret to this because as you're pushing into the sand it will actually force the legs out slightly on your tripod and if they're fully extended and you push it into the into the sand you're putting pressure on the joints and you can damage them so always uh, bring either two or the three legs in slightly then push it firmly into the sand as far as you can go and that way the legs will splay out be a solid foundation and you won't overexert or put pressure on these on these joints at the top so that's the uh that's the reason for that and uh, i'm sure you knew um that that you could push your uh tripod legs in uh, but i haven't heard too many people say to bring those legs in just as a safety precaution to save um any damage at all to your uh to your equipment especially to your tripod so today as uh is an extremely <laughs> blue sky day as you can see but the focus of this is really this piece of old iron in front of us with the netting on i think i've got too much sky in frame so i'm just going to um, pull this down a bit and I'm actually going to move forward slightly <clears throat> and again I'm going to have to reseat that's, that's better and again I'm bringing the tripod legs in slightly and then firmly pushing down I am going to throw on um, uh, an ND grad just to smooth out that water a touch. As you see, we've just been <laughs> we've just been joined by Rafi, who's dunking his head under the water to get a stone. Get your stone. He's a good boy. Right. Another one? Go get it. Uh, it's perfectly well exposed, but uh, the sun is coming down on this uh, array at an angle and it's causing a whole heap of um, issues with the image i know they're clean because i clean them uh, but um, it's still causing sparkles so let's uh let's do that again one minute going now there we go let's just hold this together so I'm preventing the light from hitting the back of this uh, filter array and what happ what's happening is it's bouncing um, backwards and forwards between the, um, uh, the soft grad and 
the uh, ND grad bouncing backwards and forwards and some of that light a specular is, is going in and hitting the sensor so we'll give this the best we can We ought to get Raffi another stone. Come on, where's your stone? Come on, where? Aren't you, aren't you fishing them out today? Hey? Aren't you fishing them out today? Oh, I can see one. Here it is. Here's one. Good boy. Get that. Get that sound. Good boy. Here's a good boy. <laughs> you got it. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Let's get round this side and I'm not sure whether to stand between there are two well, there are two um, lines here but they are moving so they're going to blare out I'm not sure that's going to work at all um, they'd have to be super taut because um, they're going to blare but uh, Let's just check and see if there's any of those treaded. Nope. Sparkles, but there aren't. I just want to make sure that. There we go. And hello, Raf. Is your stone? Go get your stone. Let's give that a go. Of course, the beauty of uh, of mirrorless cameras is that I don't have to worry about an eyepiece or anything like that because. Um, uh, there isn't uh, a prism uh, and a way for the light to leak in. This way, Raph, let's go and get your stone. Um, so that's the beauty of mirrorless. Um, otherwise, if this was a DSLR, I would have to put a, a cap. This way, this way, this way, good boy. A cap over the end of the eyepiece to prevent stray light going in. Uh, you may have seen it on some of your images, and, and in fact, I'll probably put up one of my images and show you what a light leak looks like. Um, so you recognise it in future, but uh, yeah, uh, mirrorless it doesn't have that issue. Uh, DSLRs do. And what's this? What's this? Is this a stone? I think this is a stone. Right, okay. There you go, I found one. Look at that, that's got your name on it, hasn't it? Hey, do you want it? Come on then. Go get it. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. That was quick, wasn't it? Hey, do you want me to throw it again? Do you want me to throw it again? Wait. I can't throw it if you go away. You're teasing me. No, nope. go away then. Go on. Go on, play. Do as you please. He only wants me when he needs me to throw something. Little swine. And that actually... Yep, that looks really cool. I do like that. Yes. I like that quite a bit. Uh, it pays if you find something interesting, such as this old piece of uh, iron and netting, is, is to circle it, to go round it, and just try and photograph it from every angle, um, keeping an eye on the background and just seeing which is the most pleasing um, angle. I thought at first that shooting from left to right with the jetty in the background would be the most pleasing, and it probably would be at dawn. Um, but right now, the most interesting shape, I think, is shooting along it with the, uh, with the hills off on the other side of the bay in the background. It gives a really nice, nice shape to it. So. Um, 
So yeah, I suppose one of the learnings is, is play around, play around with your composition, see what you get, see what you like, and just try it at every angle. I suppose middle of the day, um, shot or location number two. Um, I've just uh, driving from um, the South Australia interior and came across uh, this little trio of trees. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see them from where you are, but let me just uh, up it this way. There we go. Um, so yeah, it's a blistering hot day. I've just had to cross um, a little touch of uh, grass, as you can see here, cars over there. So it's only about 15, 20 um, yards, um, but I made sure I had a good, there's those trees, three trees in the distance over there. Um, so I made sure I had a good stout uh, stick and I used that to thump my way across this grass um, just to be careful because uh, so thumping across this grass um, mainly because of snakes is huge uh, concern of mine is, is actually stepping on one of these things uh, because they're quite poisonous um, contrary to belief uh, they're, they're not uh, extremely um, vicious in the fact that they hunt you down um, they usually attack if they're cornered or if you accidentally step on one so hence uh, thrashing away like crazy ahead of me like some banshee um, being careful for every step just to make sure that uh, I give the critters enough time to get out of my way and um, you can probably see or maybe you can't uh, my wonderful attire because my gum boots my shorts um, now, uh, with this, I'm, I'm not going to be able to use the wide angle, as you can imagine, uh, because the trees would be minuscule in the uh, frame. So I'm going to throw on, um, it's probably, probably the hundred throw on the filters and pardon, pardon me if my uh, backside shows here and there. Let's just pop that there. Now the wind is quite uh, gusty which is good in terms of moving those clouds. I may need to lower the uh, camera down, just tightening everything up to frame ourselves up. So we're a touch lower. Just going to wait for that to drop a touch and see if we can claim a winner. I'll stand this side, which is <laughs> trying to shield this somewhat with my body and see if that can help in some way. I'll be careful not to knock the fence. So hopefully my bulk will act as a wind barrier, baffle, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, allow us this one minute exposure. We'll see. We'll see, it's not too bad. Uh, I'm afraid this will have to be either hit or miss. This will have to be the last um, shot. I've got to catch up um, and meet in, in, in the town, which is behind you. Uh, so we'll see how we go. We've still got another two hours, uh, two and a half hour drive from here. So let's see, that's, that's completed. 
there is some movement in the cloud. Well, that looks better. That looks good. It looks like we've got it. Yep, I think that one is nailed. Okay, that's good. Uh, but what I am going to do is I'm going to take a shot either side now. So, so I've got one. I'm just going to adjust this. So everything's in manual. Just going to adjust it to here. Give that a stand back here. And I'm just... Um, just to see whether uh, I can add a little bit of uh, negative space either side. So that's it for this uh, little location here.